So hello Hima friends and welcome to this new video. Today I'm here with Oscar from uh, Virtual Factual. <laughs> hello. <laughs> because I keep saying online factual <laughs> and I just said it uh, 20 seconds ago. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> so very good. So we had uh, uh, a lot of fencing, me and Oscar, yep. he's my guest, and uh, we really enjoyed our time fencing. So uh, we wanted to discuss uh, the difference between uh, our respective fencing uh, styles, let's say. So what you think, what you felt about uh, uh, fencing with me, and then I would say how I felt it and so on. So oh, Very good. I, I think for starters, a uh, nice thing to mention that uh, Federico fences in Italian style primarily, and, and I'm more about the German style, basically as uh, taught by the Lichtenauer glosses. And my observation is that it's really funny. It's like two different languages and they're from the same language family, but there's very notable differences. So one of the things I noticed is that I personally often go and seek the bind because the bind is where I feel safe, where I know how to semi-consciously pick the right action. And Federico um, avoids the bind a bit. So <laughs> he, he works a lot with feints and tries to get to a position of advantage. And that's really funny if you try and seek a bind and it's just not there, so you have to go and chase after it. Uh, and that was a really interesting experience. That was really good. I am boring <laughs> sometimes. Well, not boring, I'd say, but very difficult to fence against in a good way. Thank you, thank you very much. But yeah, I, I basically felt the same condition in our reverse way. So it's funny because I am generally used to have opponents which uh, uh, see that like everything comes down in the end to like binding and perceiving the initiative. So Oscar is really good at perceiving initiative and changing of initiative through the bind in a really super fast way. And so he can really answer in some binding situation which I am not, some, some of them I'm not even able to, to see. As I said yesterday now in yep. one of our conversation, I don't even cons uh, think about that kind of action so in my mind it doesn't exist so the duplier for example yeah, yeah. it's just not there <laughs> and every time he does it it's like i receive it like a a drunk monkey <laughs> yeah that's quite interesting right like how initiatives were works in our systems so so for you basically is more like parry repost and uh, and feints as a uh, entire system there yeah yeah basically everything is based on, on the thing yeah parry uh, repost is uh, let's say the at the center of my, initi um, yeah. my initiative yeah i'm of my initiative too of my system and uh, the way in which you avoid the parry of course is uh, through the feint so basically every everything rotates around these situations in which uh, there is uh, the let's say rule in which if you uh, parry you stole the initiative of the, of the opponent so in a sense you have the right to uh, to land your um, uh, your repost the feint avoids the contact so by not feeling the contact generally speaking i and also my students because of course we train in the same system yeah. we feel that we have not uh, reached the the goal of pairing so the, there is not the switch of initiative yep. and who received the feint knows that has to do something to bring back the initiative to his side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah and, and I think in opposition what you, what you get with the German system is still this, this understanding of, of a right of way almost. So it's called vor and nach, so the person who is vor starts moving first, therefore the other has to respond first. But there's also a third timing condition, uh, INDES, which you could really hardly translate. It's instantly in the moment or something. And that basically means that, uh, that you're both doing an action at the same time. And if you uh, can, during this moment of INDES, already work on the next attack while your opponent is still defending the first, then you can keep this initiative going. And that's, for instance, what happens with duplieren or with mutieren. So while the opponent is setting your action aside, either with a soft or a hard bind, then you keep going to the next target and the next until you get control and there's a hit. Or your opponent uses the same idea of working in this against you and then steals the initiative. Yep. So that that's works, I guess, differently. Uh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I noticed also that when... Uh, uh, I tried to avoid that situation yeah. as much as possible, but I was like not completely able to do so because yeah. in, 
of course, we, you were trying to fight against these things. Yes, yeah. Trying to create your own conditions, which is super cool. And that's why we were talking about different languages. So, uh, in a way, we were trying to uh, explain each other in that uh, way yeah. of discussing in, uh, in fencing language. So you were discussing with your fencing language, I was discussing with my one, and each other was trying to understand uh, the other person in a way, to try and find out the way to, to uh, clean it. Sometimes it went uh, wrong because one was saying uh, yes and the other was saying no. And mm -hmm. so it's like, oh my God, so we are, <laughs> the understanding is not that clear and something ended, ended up uh, uh, messing up, so let's say. Uh, but at the same time, uh, sometimes we were clearly able to understand each other. No. So I would say that if, uh, if you agree, I'm not sure, but the, the situation which uh, we were agreeing were the most simple one. Yeah, it very, very, usually those, those of us very clear who had the initiative. So for instance, what happened a lot is that I was like looking for a bind uh, and you were quite simply not giving it. So um, backstepping um, or rather um, in indicating that the bind was going to be somewhere, but then you used the feint to have it land somewhere else. So those are actually quite clear situations. So you can look back at those and think like, okay, that's why I got hit there because there was a good feint and I looked for the bind on that side, but then the hit came on the other side. So yeah, yeah. The, the, despite the languages being different, the, there was a bit of understanding uh, quite generally. So I and that was pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. I think also that the, like sometimes there is the discussion about what style means. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, you can say a lot of different words about it, so trying to define a style by wording it in some ways or in a philosophical way, historical ways or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But what I think it comes out is that you can see, you can clearly see the difference from one state to the other in these kind of situations, right? Yes. Yeah. When you can clearly understand that we are speaking different different languages. When you see people that is this in the same environment yeah, yeah, yeah. and speak the same language, yeah. it's True. clear that it's the same language. Yeah, and, and also when there's different languages, you, you see the same thing, yeah. <laughs> Although I do have to say, it's, mm, what I do find is that it's uh, also nice to have some sort of a common vocabulary because we, we speak about initiative here and, and we borrow the terms from right of way. Sure. Because if someone t starts talking about a German system and says, well, the German system is unlike Italian because they don't have for, nach uh, and indes. <laughs> In fact, what we just discussed here is that for and nach is like as, uh, if you word it differently or try to explain it, it's very similar to what you do. It's just the difference is that there's this binding action with Indes that sure. makes a huge difference here. Absolutely, yes, I agree. And uh, it's uh, really, we were really able to understand each other while discussing fencing. Mm -hmm. so it was, uh, we don't have limits in this sense. Yeah. Discussing fencing out of fencing was super easy. Yeah, discussing yeah. fencing in fencing, <laughs> with fencing, it was yeah. uh, <laughs> complex at the beginning, but I would say easier than easier after every box. Yeah, definitely, sense. definitely. You, you kind of grow accustomed to what the other person is doing as well, right? Nice. And then you start learning from the other system as well and trying to look within your own uh, vocabulary of the techniques and tactics to see, hey, how can I actually deal with this and, and how can I bring the fight to where I'm comfortable and then the other person does the same. True. So you get fewer and fewer situations where you completely misunderstand each other and more situations where one person brings it to their own style um, more efficiently. I agree, yeah. absolutely. So yeah, it was a really interesting experiment. I yeah, think. definitely. Yeah. Very enjoyable as well. We, I think we will uh, uh, meet together again in this channel, I hope so. Yeah, least. definitely, that would be really fun. <laughs> Very good. So, uh, thanks for the chat, Oscar. Likewise, thank you very much, uh, Federico. Very good. So, thanks for watching, people. As always, see you next time.